This war game in snowy Latvia is meant to help soldiers from 30 NATO countries practice tactics and deal with possible military threats. The enemy goes unnamed, but most of the war gaming has that threat coming from the direction of the Russian border, 300 kilometers away. This is Operation Winter Shield, a simulated attack on the Latvian capital Riga, with forces from NATO defending. Canada has more than 500 soldiers in Latvia, and everyone is intensely aware that Russia has been amassing forces pointing at Ukraine, begging the crucial question of whether NATO would fight for Ukraine, which is not a member of the alliance. We talk about our possibilities and how we would employ ourselves, but it wouldn't be a decision that comes down, comes down to us. The best deterrence is always demonstrating our interoperability and demonstrating constantly that we can, we can go out and train. The head of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, was joined by Canada's Foreign Minister, Melanie Jolie, here on the eve of key meetings about the Ukraine situation. If there's a Russia attack, could you foresee a situation where Canada uh, would help Ukraine boots on the ground? We've always been there to support Ukrainians. Uh, as I said, we're a strong ally, and that's why we're monitoring the situation very closely. Support in the past has meant sanctions, not military intervention. There is a difference between a partner, uh, a non-member um, of the alliance, and uh, uh, members of NATO. Latvia, uh, 29 other countries are a member, uh, Ukraine is not, but we provide support. Russia has accused NATO of building up its forces in Eastern Europe. As she talked to the troops, Jolie praised their work, but refused to say if Canada would be sending any extra to join them. Chris Brown, CBC News, near Riga, Latvia.